a very warm welcome to all in today's math class kids get ready to explore and learn something new interesting and useful look at these pictures can you tell me the difference between these two pictures yes very good in the first picture the boy is wearing a woolen cap jacket muffler and gloves and in the second picture the boy is wearing cotton shirt along with shorts now tell me in which season we wear woolen clothes correct dear students we wear woolen clothes in the winter season it is the coldest season of the year the days are short and nights are long the sun rises for a short time there is snowfall in the hilly areas people wear woolen clothes to keep themselves warm now tell me in which season we wear cotton clothes very good yes very good in summer season we wear cotton clothes it is very hot during summer the sun is the brightest and the hottest during this time hot winds blow during the day we wear cotton clothes to keep us cool apart from the winter and summer seasons there are three more seasons look at the pictures first picture is of the autumn season the autumn season comes after the monsoon the weather is neither hot nor cold many trees shed their leaves in this season the second picture shows spring season it is the season between winter and summer it is neither cold nor hot we can see flowers all around trees have new leaves it is the most colorful season of the year the third picture shows rainy season it is known as monsoon in india it is the wettest time of the year because it rains from time to time as you have seen there are five seasons throughout the year and there are 12 months in a year let's recall the names of months january february march april may june july august september october november and december okay students now tell me which year is going on yes very good this is 2024 let's see the calendar of 2024 look at the calendar and tell me how many days are there in each month very good some months have 31 days some months have 30 days and february has only 29 days you know why there are 29 days in february students february has 28 days but because 2024 is a leap year so it has 29 days in february in this year kids to remember number of days of each month let's do an interesting activity do you like activities i'm sure you all love activities okay let's start make a fist with your hand like this notice how your knuckles stick up a bit and there is a gap between your knuckles we are using the knuckles and the spaces between them to figure out how many days are in each month first count with me january february march april may june july august september october november and december each knuckle is going to represent a month that has 
31 days in it while each space look these spaces each space is going to represent a month with only 30 days in it the first knuckle shows the first month of a year see this is our first knuckle it means it shows the month of january which is having 31 days in it the space shows the month of february having 28 or 29 days in a leap year the next knuckle shows the month of march with 31 days and the next gap shows the month of april with 30 days thus with the help of this pattern we learn that may has 31 days june has 30 days july has 31 days what comes after july very good august and august comes on the knuckle so again august will have 31 days september has 30 days october has 31 days november has 30 days and last december has 31 days okay kids now it's story time i will narrate a story to you do you want to listen to the story hmm? look at the picture there is a child just like you and his name is chintu he studies in class one because it's his first day at school and he wants to go home that's why he keeps asking his teacher repeatedly when the school timing will be over ma'am the teacher tells him that it will be at 2 pm then chintu asks when it will be at 2 pm ma'am the teacher replies look at the clock to see what time it is now chintu replies I don't know how to read the clock ma'am and then the teacher says come I'll teach you how to read the clock. Dear kids look at the clock it has 12 numbers from 1 to 12. It has two hands one is short hand and another is long. Its short hand is called our hand it shows hours. A day has 24 hours. Its long hand is known as a minute hand. It shows minutes. Now we will learn how to read the time. Dear kids, look at this clock. Short hand is on 6 while long hand is on 12. So the time is 6 o'clock. Children, let's take another example. Now in the clock, Short hand is on 3 while long hand is on 12. It means the time is hmm? very good 3 o'clock. Now look at the clock. What time is it? Yes, correct. It is 2 o'clock. Now tell me whether is it a time for Chintu to go home or not? Yes, correct. Because Chintu's school dispersal time is 2 p.m. Hence, Chintu can go home now. Children, now tell me who wakes you up in the morning? Mama or Papa? Hmm, it may be your mother, father or any other family member. But there is a girl, Gargi, who sleeps alone in her room. And do you know who wakes her up in the morning? Think and tell. Let me tell you, it is not her mother, not her father, but the sunlight that wakes her up. It comes through the window and falls on her face. Do you know from which direction the sun rises? Yes, dear children, the sun rises in the east. Now, it's time for Gargi to sleep. She sleeps at 9 o'clock after the sunset. Do you know in which direction the sun sets? Correct, the sun sets in the west. So students, there are four directions, east, west, north and south. Now, I am going to tell you how to know the directions. In this picture, 
the child is standing facing the rising sun. So, this direction is the east. As all of you know, the sun rises in the east. The direction opposite to the east is called west. As the child is standing with his opened arms, his left hand points towards the north side and his right hand points towards the south direction. You can also do this activity in the morning to find the four directions. Dear kids, now let's recapitulate. Kids, through an activity and story narration, we have learned how many days are there in each month. Now, you have to write the number of days for each month in the given table. Correct. Dear children, there are 31 days in January, March, May, July, August, October and December. 29 days in February and 30 days in April, June, September and in November. Dear children, in this chapter, we have learned that there are five seasons. Now, you need to recognize the pictures of those seasons and match them with their names. Very good. First picture is from the spring season. Second picture from autumn. Third from winter. Fourth one from the rainy season. And fifth from the summer season. Now, let's match accordingly. My dear children, you all love your birthday and eagerly await its arrival. Am I right? Hmm. Now, I am giving you an interesting assignment related to your birthday month. You need to create a calendar for your birthday month of this year that is 2024 and mark the day of your birthday on the calendar. Dear children, I hope you enjoyed today's class and learnt a lot from it. Now, it's time to end our today's session. I thank you all. Have a great day ahead.